Well, hi there, it's Scott Duffy from softwarearchitect.ca. And today I noticed a very exciting announcement coming out of Azure called Spot Virtual Machines. And I'm here to tell you about it and hopefully you'll find this ex as exciting as I do. AWS has had Spot instances for years and I've been waiting for Microsoft to announce something similar and wondering why they don't have Spot Virtual Machines. Now they do have low priority virtual machines, but that's not quite the same. So spot virtual machines are basically the unused or underutilized capacity within the Azure uh, you know, region or within the Azure data center. So let's imagine that Azure is able to sell 90% of its capacity, but they've got 10% that is basically waiting for someone to come along and spin up a VM. Well, they put those 10% up for auction and you can get your virtual machine for a lot less than the full retail price of a VM. The only catch is they can actually evict you at any time. So you can be using a virtual machine for an hour or for two hours. And then they finally, they need that VM for someone who's willing to pay full price. And then you're going to get evicted. So it's a short term temporary VM space, but you're paying a lot less than the full price. If we switch over to the pricing screen, we can see that Microsoft has updated their pricing page for spot. So if we look at a general purpose DV3 VM, it's 9.6 cents per hour for full price. If we switch over to the spot pricing, it's 1.9 cents per hour. So that goes from you know, almost 10 cents an hour to two cents an hour, which is an 80% reduction in cost. So if you don't mind paying 80% less than the pay as you go amount, then you could use a spot instance. Again, you could eventually uh, get evicted. Someone's willing to pay more than you, or there's none available. So you've got some, some uh, provisioning challenges, but it might be good if you've got workloads that can be done at any time. Um, maybe there's some sort of big batch that you want to run, but it doesn't have to be done during the day. It can be done at night. If you set up a job to run at two o'clock in the morning, maybe there's going to be more of these spot instances available than if it's running in the middle of the day, right? And you're going to be able to save money. So there's this a blog post that came out today. There's now documentation available for this. So if you want to go into the spot instance uh, docs and see how that works. And if you go into the portal and you start to create, you say plus add, and you go into the virtual machine creation screen, spot instances does show up. And so you can um, choose to create a spot instance. Now notice there are a couple of different um, methods and uh, choices you have to make when it comes to creating a spot instance. One is um, you are going to get evicted once it reaches full capacity. So like you said, if it's 90% um, full and 10% free, you're going to use up that some of that 10%. But then basically, as soon as that 10% gets reserved, you're going to get evicted. Or you can set a max price and you can say, I don't really want to pay. Uh, let's say let's say the rack price was nine cents, um, maybe you're only willing to pay 2.5 cents and that's 25 cents, but you can put your basically your max price that you're willing to pay. Uh, and then how is this current is going to be uh, deallocated, right? So right now there's only one option, which is just to stop the VM and it's no longer yours. It's going to, it's going to stop abruptly. So a very interesting a new option for you if you're looking for VMs that um, have certain characteristics. If you go back to the blog post, you can see batch jobs, workloads that can sustain interruptions, development and testing, stateless apps that scale in and scale out but don't store any sort of state to it, and other short-lived jobs. So if you have things that take only a few seconds to live, um, then it's not really going to have much of an impact when the virtual machine is stopped. So. These are some great, uh, great new features. Now it is in preview mode and they are saying that um, it's replacing low priority VMs on scale sets. And so low priority will go away eventually. And it does say uh, it's not suitable for production right now. But if you think about it, spot virtual machines are designed to be interrupted and they're designed not, they're not designed for availability at all. And so maybe if you ran it in production, 
it wouldn't, it, you know, what's the impact of it not working, right? So um, you can optionally set a 30 second eviction notice if you subscribe to the events. Anyways, very interesting. Go check out um, uh, the Azure blog, azure.microsoft.com. Look for the blog. This was supposed today. And, uh, you know, hopefully this will uh, save you some money, add some more options for you to get some work done or to handle, you know, improve performance for your customers at, for not much cost. This has been Scott, softwarearchitect.ca. Subscribe to this channel if you find this interesting or uh, follow the links in the description and you can find out more about me. Thanks.